Okay, so it's time for the viral loop. Um, now, what is a viral loop? So what we're gonna do today is that we are gonna build a viral inviter. And a viral inviter is essentially a way in which you create a, like a circle through your website. And as you know, we set up the Facebook page. You want to create some kind of circular economy here. We're going to set up. We have set up a Facebook page. So what we want to do is for all the traffic that comes to the website, we want that traffic to go to the Facebook group, and then we want the Facebook group traffic to go back to the website because we want to collect emails here in order to start growing our community. And so for the first sign up, we will have some kind of asset and then we'll have invitation to the Facebook group. This will be an email. So this will be a landing page. This will be an email that will direct them to the uh, Facebook group. We will have one thank you page and we will have that first post within the Facebook, within the Facebook group. Uh, that will direct them back to a page because they're already a part of the Facebook group at that time and that's then they're only gonna have the asset and then we're gonna send them to some kind of thank you page this thank you page will focus on going to the um, Facebook group and this thank you page will focus on some kind of share thing right to share in order to get this and so as you see, these guys who sign up here, they will be sent an invite and redirected to a thank you page. The invite includes this document and uh, the asset. And then they will sign up to the Facebook group. The people who sign up to the Facebook group, they will read the first post and then they will sign up to this website page which is not the same as that one. And because they are already in the Facebook group, they will go to another thank you page where they will be pushed to share. These guys who are invited, they're only pushed to share here. They will get the email with the invite to the Facebook group. Actually, we could probably combine these two pages when I think of it. Yeah, we probably could. Actually, we shouldn't because we want to really stress the fact that they should go to, to the Facebook page on that one. And since these guys are already on the Facebook page, we want them to, to start sharing. So that's what we're going to build today. And we call this the viral inviter or the viral loop. Because what it does is that it, it creates an ecosystem where uh, the traffic never stops flowing. So if people come in here through Facebook or if people come here from the website, we are sort of growing all of our places at once. So that's a viral loop. There are more complicated viral loops and I will go through more of them later on, but this is the base viral loop for our website. All right, so that is the viral loop. Now we are gonna use uh, our WordPress website plus a tool called Drip uh, or a service called Drip, which is a mix between uh, marketing automation and email service, which is really good. It's the best one and the cheapest one that I can find and I use it for essentially everything. Uh, yeah, I, I just use it for everything. Um, and uh, yeah, it will help you send automated emails, trigger-based emails. It will help you collect signups. It will help you set up viral loops. It's just everything you need when you're starting a business and it's very affordable as well. And you can run it on several different websites, etc., etc. So WordPress and Drip is what we're gonna build this on. So yeah, let's get into doing that. So as you can see in front of you, this is what the start page looks like. And now we're gonna create sort of our pre-launch page. And so just as you saw in, so just as you saw in our definition of our viral loop, uh, we are going to create a few things here. We're gonna create two landing pages, two thank you pages, and uh, we are gonna create, do, 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 do. yeah, we're gonna create two emails as well.
So a visitor comes in to the website, they sign up, they are redirected to this page where they are uh, asked to join the Facebook group and then they, uh, you know, and that's the end of that. And then when they confirm that, they're sent to this page, right? Uh, here I will add some kind of sharing push later so that once they are completely confirmed, uh, they will get a push to share and some Facebook group thingy. If they come from the Facebook group, then they are added to this thing or they land on this page where they'll be able to sign up. And as they're already part of the Facebook group, then they will get this uh, treat instead with the, the the download for Facebook groups, uh, the Facebook groups for business. And then once they click their confirmation link in the email, they will end up here. Wait, I got to do one more thing. Here is a problem that I usually, I don't activate my forms. And then I'm like, what's the problem? What's the problem? And then I haven't activated my forms, right? And so here we go. Let's see. Now I've activated both of them. Reload this. Now I write my Gmail. All right now it's redirecting to the right place, but uh, it's not giving me the uh, required thing. So I'm gonna have to check on that, but that's the final thing. And then we get to the Facebook group here. I sign up and join the Facebook group. Oh, this is lovely. I read the first message and there they can sign up. And if they do, if they click that link, then they are redirected. Yay, they're there, they add a... And you see here, and there I get the thingy. So now the loop is completed. If I will have some emails in my inbox, so there it is. Hit this. See right up. Yay! End up in the right place. So that's good. Now it works. So that's the full viral loop. So we created a ecosystem that started on the website or on the Facebook group and then went through a sign up process uh, that never stopped. So that's how we set up a viral loop. That's the first one. It's the least complicated ones we will set up uh, throughout this process. All right. So that was today's thingy uh, do the thingy. And yeah, if you have any comments, any questions, please ask them. Uh, I will make sure to to respond to every single one of them and make videos that clarify anything that was not clear here. Now you have the map. Looks like that. Let's see if we can get like that uh, of the viral loop. And you also have the video that will help you set it up. You can always pause and you can go back. So it will not be a problem as long as you follow the mouse with the eyes, the cursor with the eyes. Have a good day. Bye.